Hello everyone, Kerry the Crafter here, that's C-E-R-I, The Crafter. And I do want to apologise before I even start. The sun keeps coming and going and I get shadows, I don't get shadows. But to be honest with you, I've only got just over an hour to film this and I need to get it done now. And I know you'll forgive me because you have in the past and I thank you for that. Um, it's the beginning of March, it's a beautiful sunny day, we've just come out of a whole pile of storms and rain and hail and sleet and whatever over the last week, so I'm extremely happy it is a nice day. So it's time to work in my glue stroke collage, collage book, I can't remember whatever I call it. So I want to get on and do this, I want to do a new spread today. Um, because of the storms we've just been through, I really did want to focus. I'm I'm mourning my garden. I want to go out into the garden and see flowers and greenery. At the moment, it's a bit of a muddy patch with a load of sticks sticking out the ground with the hint of maybe buds on that. So I thought, right, today we're going to work and maybe create something garden orientated with a bit of magic. So what have I got on the desk? Um, I've got my spread, which I know with this in-camera shot, you're not going to be able to see the blue book, which is off to one side, but I think this is what you truly want to see. Um, I've got some glue sticks, and I've got my spreader as normal, and I've got... what have I got? Okay. Um, I got some just encyclopedia pages, because I thought I'm, I always like to add text somewhere. Um, I found this lady. I've, I've got an idea about her. I'm not sure. She's sort of this call to me may or may not make, make the cut. You know, you know what it's like with me. I, I create and then I'm not sure. Um, I've got a couple of words out of the ordinary and we're all flowers once wild. And I quite like that one actually. So I'm going to put those up by there and hopefully not forget them. Other than that, I've got a random selection of flowers and florals from magazines and books and and the likes of that. I mean, I think that's even an advertisement for something or other. I've just been through the whole box. I'm not sure that's going to make it now that I see it. It looks a bit big. Um, the whole box of everything I had and had a look and see what, what have I got that's actually floral oriented. So I've got lots of stuff. Even things like this is a clipping from a magazine. Um, I pulled out some fruit. Maybe it's a summer garden. Um, you've seen this before and I've not managed to use it. So you get it, this stuff. And also I've got a few book pages of other stuff. So basically floral is kind of the theme, but I wanted to give it a little bit of a twist because you know me, I like to put a little bit of a twist on things when I can. So I find it hard to pick this lot up. I'm putting this all on a little table over there. Um, I also wanted to, oh, I found a peony word. That's another word I like for this. I also pulled in some fairies from, oh, there's another image of a flower from, um, flower flower fairies because I found one of those big books of them a while ago and I I like these and I quite like this image and I like this image and I'm wondering whether this could possibly be the queen of the fairies but I'm not sure that she's the queen of anything at the moment um, of the summer which is what I want this whole theme to be so you can see I'm a bit I wouldn't say lost because I'm certainly not lost I'm just a little bit directionless but I think we'll get there also, um, I pulled in um, the tissue paper that I normally jelly print with because some of this is quite interesting as far as things I could put in the background. So um, I might want a hint of gold or something or I don't know, just stuff within this. I mean, I quite like this element here. I quite like this a lot. I'm sure it's not picking up on um, camera that well, but it is for me. Things like this. This I really love this bit. In fact, I'm going to put that to one side that I really like that. Um, but anyway, so I've got plenty of stuff on the go. It's finding... It's another piece of it. I might actually use that quite a bit. Do I want to pull the grey in? No, not the grey. Um, it's just finding stuff that I want to put down. I don't want to put green down because I've got green in other stuff. And I don't want to go any deeper in this box because I think it's a bit grungier down there. And I want to stay with delicate and pretty and... You know what I mean. So let's put the box over there. Let's have a bit of a think, thunk, thought, whatever we want. So I'm just going to lay things out. Just, if you've seen me do this before, you know, I kind of start with corners. Um, don't know why I start with corners. I just always do. Um, 
<clears throat> and I'm not upset by that actually. So I don't have the parking lot with me today. I don't know where I'll put the basket to be honest. So over to this side is just where I'm going to leave stuff that I'm considering. Right, I quite like that and I could get on with that and then I think I may add some of this over the top. So let me just start start the gluing process. As I said, I'm sorry you're not going to see me glue, but really, do you need to see me glue? I don't think you do. So, um, so life here in Wales is, I want to say getting back to normal, but I find that slightly scary statement um, because I think none of us are under the illusion, actually I do think some of the, us are under the illusion that the virus has gone away, but I think the government has eventually got to the point where they've gone, you know what, you make your own decisions. So I think at this point, um, England has lifted the majority of their restrictions. Um, Wales, which is where I live, all, of, all the restrictions will be lifted, um, including mask wearing, distancing, um, mandatory isolation if you've got a positive COVID test, all of that is going to be lifted on the 28th of March. Um, I'm, I'm sure there are people out there who will continue to wear masks in public. And to be honest, if it's a crowded space, I probably will also wear a mask. If you're hearing tearing, it's because I'm taking off the blue pages and putting them in the box. Um, I'm probably going to be wearing a mask for a little while longer because I, I don't know. Um, they are saying that in the autumn, there's going to be another booster vaccine out that we can all take part in, should we wish to. Uh, so it, it smacks of getting back to normal. But I was doing a TV show up in England. Well, I got back yesterday. So the thing that scared me most about that was that I was up there. I did it. But already people are acting as if as if it's all over. And I'm like, guys, it's not all over. I'm wondering whether I want that whole piece just straight or I want to tear it. Now, I know there's other things going to be on this page. So maybe if I just glue it down, I'm wondering whether I want to go down the matte medium route for this. Um, yes, I might do. Just because it's quicker and easier than actually using um, glue sticks. So I'm just going to put a bit of matte medium. This is the matte medium I, I prefer purely because it's inexpensive. I can get it in my local store really, really easily. I don't have to order it online. I can just go and buy it, um, which is always, always welcome because I get a bit tired of trying to buy supplies online and then having to pay an arm and a leg for PMP. And I know there's quite a few people out there who struggle still getting their supplies because they live in countries like, I mean, someone I watch on YouTube uh, called Froil or, or Froil Art. Um, she has the devil's own job getting stuff because PMP is astronomical postage and packaging, or they're just not delivering to New Zealand, um, which is where she's from. So, which is a pity, but it is what it is, I suppose. I'm sure it'll all get back to normal eventually, as far as that goes. And I don't understand the reason why um, sending someone something to another country is a problem because I don't see I don't see how or why that affects postage so anyway that's just you know me I, I, I see the world through somewhat different eyes to some people right I've got this bit as well which I really like and I like the little swirly bits on this I'm wondering whether I can just which way I want this to be whatever I do is going to be a slightly sharp line I'd like to have had more of this, but you know what? I didn't, and this is it. Maybe, actually, maybe three places would be better than two. There you go, indecision right away. Started with an indecision, and we're going there. So, um, so I'm not sure how the rest of the world is coping. Um, I have made a decision. I've, I've, I've not travelled other than just to do TV shows, um, here in the UK I haven't traveled for like two and a half years now and as you know most of my my business and interests and in that laid in other parts of the world um, and I've decided it's time 
I got back on that horse, to be honest. I, I, I need to start travelling again. Um, not for holidays, but and I wouldn't really say for work anymore. It's it's purely, I have friends around the world because, as I'm sure you're aware, I used to work in the entertainment industry, and the main part of my working in the entertainment industry was I worked um, for cruise ships. And as such, I made friends around the planet and managed to work with some very, very talented people. And and they're still my friends, obviously. But I mean, we've done Zoom, we've done Hangouts and all of that lot. But there's nothing like actually just going and visiting someone. So there's there's a few people on my list that I absolutely, definitely want to go and see um, so I've decided my very first trip abroad, and it is a bit of a scary one, um, is I'm going to go to Chicago for 4th of July celebrations, purely because I've got, I used to live in Chicago. I've got loads of friends in Chicago, so I can see everyone in one foul swoop. Besides that, um, to get to Chicago, basically it's just one one plane ride for me. So if I get myself to London Heathrow, I know that I can jump on a plane and then get off in Chicago O'Hare. So I don't have to go via another city unless I choose to, which I won't be because I'm probably going to fly British Airways because I know they fly direct. Um, I normally fly Delta to a lot of places but as everything goes through so I'm putting that in a wet wet wipe guys just to keep it moist so I can wash it later because I didn't bring water with me um I don't really want to fly Delta because I don't want to go through their hub airport of Atlanta nothing against Atlanta I've been through there stayed there done shows there but currently it's it's one of the biggest airports in the world and it's one of the busiest and I don't I don't want to be trapped there I don't want to expose myself should we say right so we kind of got parameters we've got pieces here um i think this is where i want to make some decisions about do i want to put anything large in the background i pulled out let's put that down i pulled out these which are like botanical shots and and i chose these i think we seem to be going down a pink theme and i'm looking at this now thinking these are just a bit large I mean, I could tear that down, but I think we're going to disregard those. Those those were not not the direction I'm going in on this. I've got purple. I've got purple. Is there any of these pink? I've got greener. I don't want to go down completely the pink route, but there are some interesting things. This was, oh, I think it was a guide to something or other. Um, obviously, guide to florals in some way. And I think I want to take a page of this. And I'm, I know that I'm not going to be using whole images. So I think what I might do is, first of all, I want to get rid of that edge. So I'm just going to be over here with the tear ruler, guys. Just taking the edge off that because I don't want that purple strip down the side. Um, in my collages, I do tend to steer away from um, straight lines. Except maybe on things like um, sewing pattern, or if it if it makes sense for it to be there, I tend to use things with straight lines. If, however, I don't see the reason for the line to be there, I avoid them. Um, lines are quite a powerful thing when it comes to putting them into pieces of art, because what you'll find is. A line can draw focus to something. Um, not can do it, it does draw focus to something. Uh, it also means that, I'm just going to stick some of these down while I'm do, talking to you. Um, it also means that sometimes the eye can be led off the page by, by a line. So if I've got a line here, you look as far as a line, but you don't tend to go past it. Um, if I've got a diagonal line, sometimes you look and then you follow your eye naturally follows a diagonal. So I'm a little wear, wary of that when I use lines. Um, however, saying that, I do use lines to my advantage sometimes if I want to steer the viewer um, to maybe look at an in, um, look at words or a saying or 
or stuff like that. So I don't think that all made sense because it sort of confused the heck out of me. I quite like that up there actually. Don't know why I like that up there, I do. Um, let's see what else is going on. Uh, I'm, I've got quite an aggressive videoing schedule as for this year and I seem to be keeping up with it, which I'm very pleased about because I don't like to set things up and then be seen to fail. Not that it's failed. Um, I did say when I launched what I was aiming to do this year that it was an aim and not a goal because I didn't want to get to the point where I'm feeling obligated to do stuff. So I'm trying to do one of these a month. I'm trying to do my jelly plate play videos once a month. I'm trying to do my journal making series, that is hopefully supporting um, newbies to the craft. I'm, I'm taking them on a bit of a journey as well. Um, I've got shorts going out. I've got I've got quite a lot going on actually. Um, I think I think I'm managing currently to get um, how many is it? I think there's at least one video going out every three days. I think that's the way I've worked it. I mean, it's all, you know me for being organized. I've got, I've got spreadsheets and charts and everything to keep me on track. And, and it's, it's not becoming onerous. It's actually helping me plan. And yes, there are lots of squirrels in my life. And I do go off on a, on a really weird tangent. But it's all becoming very manageable and I'm getting into a routine and I'm looking forward to now like this. I've been really looking forward to doing this instead of thinking, oh my gosh, I've got to get one done. I Because I'm only doing one a month, I'm like, ooh, so it's almost a treat for myself. It's like working in my art journal. That to me is almost a treat as well. Do you know what I mean? So I'm really, I'm really enjoying it, sir. And I do add in random ones, um, as you may or may not have seen. Um, I'm doing the odd product review as well. Right, I'm going to bring these to one side and I just want to offer a few of them up there just for my, just for me to look at. I quite like that. I'm going to put that up there. Um, I've started doing product reviews. I think I've done two. I've got, I've got one that will go out. What, what day is it today? And I'll say it's March. Might be March the 5th today. And I think I've got a product review going out. I think I quite like that as well. Um, a product review going out on March the 8th, which is for PM Artist Studios. They're um, a Texas-based company, small mother and daughter um, set up, and they make masks and stencils for the art world. And they also have... I quite like that too. They also have... Um, other products in their shop as well they're they're just very talented and if you see them they've got youtube groups and and they've got facebook groups and it's just a really fun loving community and i just enjoy watching them they just make me smile now that's interesting i like it but why would i put a chair why wouldn't i put a chair in it's not, not the question of why i'm going to put that up there because just because I might take an element from it. Um, so yes, I'm doing a product review on their products because they kindly reached out and sent me some stuff and said, would you like to have a go? Unbeknown to them, I already liked their products anyway, so it was an absolute joy. Uh, so I'm going to stick some of these down. Now I am conscious some of you are screaming, oh, do you really want to put orange with pink? You know, yeah, I do. Today I do. So, you know, maybe not all of this, but parts of this. Um, so, yes, I've got a product review coming out from them on for them on the 8th. Um, I'm also going to use their stencils and masks in, in a jelly plate play, which will probably not go out this month. It may go out next month. Sorry, I just need, need a moment to think like that there. Um, so that'll go out next month. Um, and then I might actually use one of their stencils because there's one in the, in the load they sent me. And I went, oh, love that one. And I might be using that one for my art journal page. So, so you're going to be seeing them. And, and they're a company I really love. And they're just such nice people. 
absolutely lovely people, great support of the community, um, building their own community as well. So, um, so when that comes out, I'd like you to actually go and have a look at that, please. And if you can give them a thumbs up or like them or even go and join their page. I mean, it, as I said, a lot of it is jelly plate printing. However, just their creativity is enough to inspire as far as I'm concerned. And the mother, which is P, Patricia, and the daughter, which is Moira, Mariah, Mariah, sorry, sorry, Moira, Mariah, um, which is the M of PM Artist Studios. Um, the mother is actually an ex-art teacher, so she knows her stuff, and Mariah is an illustrator, so she knows her stuff as well. So, um, yeah, loving that. So I've got that coming out. Oh, what's happening to... Um, as I said, I've just done a TV show. I've just done meetings in that we've got... Actually, I might put that up there, actually. Um, I've got two TV shows coming out on the 7th of April. Obviously, they're live TV shows. The first one is going to be um, cake-based, and the second one is going to be craft-based. So, kind of looking forward to that. That's 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 nice to get back into that saddle again. I'm thinking I like that in the middle there. Right. Um, this, guys, remember, is just the background. So if you're going, but Kerry, you're covering everything up. Yeah, I am. I think I want that a little bit thinner and narrower than that. Sorry. Um, yes, I am covering stuff up. Uh, so, yes, I'm excited to be doing that. We're, we're basing it around a garden party theme because the Queen's got, our Queen, has got, good grief, is it a Platinum Jubilee this year? I think it's Platinum Jubilee. I can't remember how many years that is. Um, is it like 75 or something? I, I don't know. Good old Lizzie needs a pat on the back because she's made it this far. Good honour for it. Um, so, yes, there were supposed to be big plans in Britain for street parties and celebrations. We've been given an extra bank holiday this year to all celebrate, but she's cancelled... 99% of it and and I think that was the right decision because we know that we'd have tourists from all over the country all over the world coming to London to celebrate and in this current climate which could be inf an infectious climate um, I do think she made the right decision to go actually I don't think this is the best thing for the nation so a load of a lot of the big public events are not happening. It will not dilute our celebrations with her, I'm sure. So, so anyway, um, so the company that's co contracted me in to do their TV shows wants to use um, the theme of a garden party as, as their inspiration. Um, not really saying it's about royalty, but a garden party, the Queen's garden parties are actually quite famous. So it is, it is a royal event, but it's not a royal event. It's, it's a weird one. Um, I'm struggling to find out how to, how to put into words what it's going to be. So we're at the beginning stages of, of planning the shows. So I still have to work out how I intend doing these things. But I will. It's my job. That's what I do. So. Um, it's one live hour of cake and one live hour of craft. Um, we do need to remember, though, it is it is almost shopping channel-ish in that the main driver is to actually sell products. So I, I try to never give anyone the illusion that it's not it's not that because it is. Um, I'm struggling with this bit. I feel it needs to be on this page. Maybe there, actually. Put it upstairs. Put it upstairs. Put it up there, anyway. Right, this this piece I love. I'm going to use it at some point. I'm just not... Actually, that might go there. Right, okay, decision made. Let's get a clean glue, glue stick, a glue book page. So, so, yes, I'm looking forward to that. I mean, I... I know there's a lot of people in the world, uh, in Britain, who don't like the royals. Um, 
I, I like the fact that we have royalty. I think there's potentially too many people who are royal, if that makes sense to you, that don't, how do I word this? Um, they don't generate enough income when the royal family itself does generate income through tourism and their support and you know where I'm going with this it I get a bit confused when I'm trying to explain things as you obviously know okay right I think that's pretty much it I'm looking here thinking I need to put a strip of something in there um my gut instinct is thinking a piece of um text and I think my gut instinct is probably right so let's take a thinnish strip of this I don't want the whole width of a page in there, um, and I don't. I don't want to put. Yeah, that'll work. Um, I don't want to put more flowers in there because there's more flowers going on top at any moment. So I mean, as we've already said, a lot of this may end up being covered anyway with other things. But I like to give give everything I do a background so that I don't end up with page space. As in, I don't end up with big expanses. Let's see if that's straight. It's tricky. I can't see through my iPad anymore because of the, the new setup, which apparently you all love. I'm loving it too. It's just I'm used to looking through this and I can't look through it anymore. So I know that if I don't move this book, you see everything. So, right. I've got spaces. Um, I'm looking now. I'm so gung-ho about wanting to use this flower. I think I'm just going to put that down, guys. It's it's absolutely calling to me. And if something is calling to me that much, then it needs to be there for a reason. And it may not be a reason that I'm familiar with at the moment, but it needs to be there. I did toy with the idea of putting some Edith Holland on here as well. Um, but then I thought, would that, let's go down a bit on that one. And I thought maybe that might clash a bit with the flower fairy sort of feel I wanted to have on this. So, so I steered away because for me personally, I went, mm, that doesn't feel quite right. Um, looking at this, I think the only bit that's really attracting me is this across the top. And I think if I put that on there, it's too much. So I think that's going back into the parking lot, which means it will go back into my supplies later on. Um, I like the tissue paper. I could put more tissue paper on there to actually meld this into the background a bit. But I think we'll see where we go with the next next moves, should we say. Right. I think this is going to be a complete yes, no, yes, no exercise. Right. That's a no. Um, possibly yes. Uh, why have I got a bay? Oh, OK, I picked up that one by mistake. Um, Cute-ish, okay, that's too bold, that's too big, that's just too pink. Um, don't mind that. Um, I don't know why why I'm making the decisions I do. I want to keep the big flowers out because I do think there's a place. Um, if I'm going to put a butterfly on here, it won't need to be in a pho photograph. It's another one of those big butterflies. That might be kept. I don't need a rose. That's another small cutout, fussy cut butterfly. If I was going to use that, I would have used it in the background. Background. Um, I thought maybe summer days and lemons and holidays and juice and that's not going to go there. Um, that. Oh. Okay, undecided. I quite like that colour. So um, that's more reminds me of whales and daffodils, um, peony, bits of greenery, fruit. This this isn't going on there. Um, daffodils, no. Daffodils, no. Probably because daffodils are my national flower here in Wales. And it's on our St. David's Day celebrations on the 1st of March. So it's only a couple of days ago since we saw a whole pile of daffodils and celebrated. So... Um, I think that's probably why I don't feel it fits in here because no, it's too dark. Uh, because that really doesn't smack of summer. It smacks of almost 
coming into spring for me. Right, I did think that was too big and I was right. I think these blocky type pictures, like they're cut into blocks, are not really going to sit on here. Um, grass. Mm, have to think about that. Um, sun loungers, if I'm putting fairies on, I don't think fairies use sun loungers. Correct me if I'm wrong, if any fairies out there want to contact me, you can do. Um, we'll have a discussion, but I really don't think fairies are going to be using sun loungers. No, no, no. I quite like that colour. Put that in the thinking pile. Would you find a mango in my garden? You wouldn't find a mango in my garden. OK, there's that butterfly thing again. This was a bit of the background. And, and I'm not averse to using that at some point, but it needs to be the right place. So I think, I think the ones I've just supplied, supplied, selected, I would call my upper elements. So I'm going to put them down with the fairy stuff. Right, we've got some horrendously big flowers here, which if I put them on here, I think would overpower. So I think the bigger flowers need to be on something big and bold in the future. I'm so sorry about this line, guys. It's coming and going. Um, that flower's not bad, actually. That might go there. I don't want the rose. I'm looking at this thinking I do like that. I don't want to put it in the middle because that's just, I don't put things in the middle very often. Yes, it's going to go there. Right. Decision made. Um, I was thinking last night when I was lying in bed trying to go to sleep too. Um, I think in one of my videos I need to explain to everyone maybe how I perceive placement of items on the page. Um, I think it's because I used to do a lot of photography at one point, and I do hate the fact that I don't do as much photography as I used to do. Um, my eye sort of is trained to see things in thirds and on grid lines and stuff like that. And a lot of you have actually complimented me on this just dropped out of nowhere, and that usually is a sign that it needs to be somewhere. Maybe bother. Um, and, and a lot of you complimented me on my colour, my sense of colour and my balance within my collage work. And, and I don't really know how to explain a lot of what I do. Um, however, I think... Besides being incredibly lucky that when I was born, I must have been born with a gift of creativity or imagination or a good eye. Um, I do I do know that probably with the cake decorating that I've done and do and with my other art endeavours, it helps train you in the way to look at stuff. So, so anyway, I will think about that. I've got to try and work out how, how I would... Because I'm not an art teacher, I, I don't I don't want to mislead anyone, but I do want to help anyone that I can help. Right, okay, stop, stop blabbing Griffiths and get back into this. Okay, now I'm going to put the words on last because I put the words on last. So I want to bring in now the fairy elements. I'm calling her a fairy element because I'm not quite sure. Now these are structured to be down the corner of the edges of the page. And I know that's incredibly predictable. But actually, I really like them as elements on the side of the page. And I think I like them because with everything going on on the page, you don't necessarily see them unless you look. Now, I really did love this fairy. But I think she's too big. But this one, however, I really like. And, and sits quite well within the colour scheme. I'm just going to let her sit there a minute. Um, I quite liked her, but I don't know why I pulled her in. Because she's not a fairy, but I could make her a fairy by giving her wings. Oh, I should put her head on there. Her head's exploding, by it, guys. Um, I feel that she just oh, looks like a tail. Can't put her there. Um, I feel she's got a place on this page. But I don't know where on this page. Let's lift that off a bit. 
actually I don't mind that if I was to put it on the edge of the page actually go as far as maybe taking part of her off I quite like the, the idea that she's seen but not really seen I'm wondering if I bring her down it's all about the placement with this piece I think I like the idea that she's possibly just peeking out so let's just tear her off right okay decision is made this is where I make a complete muck up and tear it and then it goes all over the place hopefully it doesn't do that so that's about there I think it came off um yes I'm um you know me for collage I seem to get to a point then all of a sudden my idea gets steered in another direction right so if that is there that is there she doesn't need wings, but would wings benefit her? Where did I put the butterflies? Let's see if I've got something. I think these these might be the big ones. No, I think these are the medium sized ones. I'm, I'm not sure I've got anything that would really call to me. My gut is saying that this might be the wrong decision. Um, and you know me, I, I do go Oh, sorry about the clanking and the noise. You don't do know me. I do go via my gut on a lot of this. She doesn't need a big wing. I don't think she needs wings. She doesn't need wings at all. Right, okay. Let's... Why is she there then? Um, why are you there, young lady? <gasps> she's wandered into the garden. That's what it is. Okay. So she's a human that's wandered into the magical world of the fairies. Okay. I'm, I can live with that. That's, that's a reason for her to be on the page. Um, and I do have to have reasons when I put things into the collage. Um, they may not always be apparent to everyone, unless you've watched one of my videos and I've discussed it, obviously. But um, yes, liking that there. Um, is that now the right place for this? It is right. I like the way that this little fairy, you don't actually notice that until you look down. And I'm liking that. Um, these were actually, I need a good glue page for that. These, these corner pieces were actually on the edges of a page within the book. I'm going to have to be really careful how I glue stick this because that, that it was a serious amount of fussy cutting to get these out. And, and there's some really thin filigree pieces in here. I'd rather not destroy. And I'd rather not stick it to my glue book either. I should have checked. Oh, I did change a book. Right, so I'm going to put this down. I'm trying to get this little square on the square of the page. So on the corner of the page. And then gently put that down. Right, do I mind that sticking out there? No, I don't. I'm trying not to be a perfectionist. Right, we know this is on this side, which is equally as good. Placement of this is what I need to think of next. Now, I naturally put it down there, but I do think it needs to be higher up. I'm also looking and thinking, do I need to fussy cut around the edges of this a little bit more? Hmm... Do you think you can bear with me while I, I spend a bit of time doing that? Just a little snip here or there. I just feel that that line is, and maybe I didn't cut it when I did it, purely because I didn't want things to be damaged. I find that if I fussy cut stuff completely, um, sometimes you find that as it's stored in the box, it gets damaged or stored in the box with my other pieces of ephemera. Don't want to cut her toes off. I'm not Gail Augustinelli. <laughs> Sorry, Gail. I've seen you chop the wings off a bird, clip the butterflies. Um, mind you, I did see you make a decision the other day not to cut the nose off a bunny. Um, not a surprise there, of course. But, yeah. I try not to maim my characters as I put them on. So, 
I try to respect the sensitivities of people and fairies, apparently. So, right, why would I have the letter A in this? Pity this isn't April, because if this was April, this would make sense, wouldn't it? But this is March. So. Oh, there you go, A. I've got it. A is for Augustinelli. Gail, there you go. You're a fairy this time. Or it could just be the A to Z, A to Z. How American did that sound? Do you know, even though I worked and lived in the States for many years, um, I'm not an American, obviously. With this accent, I really am not an American. However, there are still words and phrases that I have stuck. I mean, I still say tomatoes. Um, I still say yogurt. Um, it's just, I don't know. I mean, I still say Z, obviously, instead of Z. Um, I don't know. I think I've just, I think when you live somewhere and you live within that culture, you do tend to pick up um, the colloquialisms. That's not easily said. Um, and accents and things like that. Although I never actually picked up an accent. Um, I did live in Australia for a while as well. I lived in Sydney, Australia. Um, and I never picked up that accent either. Although I must admit there were words. I quite like that flower. This just feels, oh wait, there's going to be something in here though, isn't there? So even if it's, a, okay, then that might be the right place. I'm going to put that down there. Um, yes, I, I, I do pick up things. Um, it's like um, in my part-time job, we've got uh, one of the managers. It's Italian. Now, I've never spoken Italian. I tried learning it, but I did used to teach quite often in Milan. Um, cake decorating classes. So, of course, I have a few... Italian isms that that I say occasionally and I don't think I've ever said good morning to him I always say ciao and, and prego and stuff like that to him so although I don't speak Italian I think as I said I hope that's straight I can never see um I do have things that pop into my mind that are Italian right before this one goes down here is there anything I want to put here I'm thinking out of the ordinary should go up there. But I'm beginning to think it should also go down there. And I think if that goes down there, that goes in the corner. I think this could go over even more. So it's all about placement with these things. I want to make sure the O is visible. Let's unhitch that one. Right, I'm going to put a little tiny dot of pencil on here, just so I know where this needs to go to. So, must remember to erase that afterwards. Now, I'm tempted to try and fussy tear that out, but if I try and fussy tear that out, I can assure you it won't be straight. And if it's not straight, I won't live with it. So, so maybe there'll be upper, upper elements put on here that will make sense of that. And I've still got that butterfly picture somewhere I wanted to put in. So right, if I put you right down at the edge there. I do have a heck of a lot more of these fairies because I, I found this big book in a in a thrift store, charity store, but whatever you, you know it as. And I'm gonna need an absolutely clean page for this fairy. Um, so I've got a lot of them and I've got, well, I've got the whole alphabet in them for a start. But I also took out some of the poems and sayings and phrases and um, some of the page decor. So I really did make use of my find and I'm so happy I did. I intend doing at some point a fairy journal. 
um, I just haven't got round to it yet because part of the reason is I haven't done all the fussy cutting yet as a, there's probably at least a week's worth of fussy cutting still to do. I'm going to slide that into place, slide that over there. Up a little bit and carefully smooth that down. Right. Okay, I like the fact that the page is so fussy, you have to look into things to find things. That's working for me. I like that. So, right, let's bring in some of these top elements now and see whether they actually have a place in this or not. Before I th start thinking of other pieces of inscription, right, grass doesn't need to be in here. I did like this and I don't know why I liked it. Put that to one side as me thinking. I do have, I can go and pull out fairies as well, by the way. Um, these now don't feel right. That doesn't feel too wrong. Maybe that's another piece in the other. Um, don't know why there'd be a teapot in here. I keep being drawn back to this. But it does feel a bit dominant now. Right, so I'm down to these two. Now, I keep looking at this area here, thinking I need to put something into it. And that feels more natural to me. So I think that's where that's going to go. Right. Bear with me. And that just connects all of that together. It does leave me a bit of a line there, but I do have other things to go on here. Okay, now. Um, this says of the summer, which doesn't make a lot of sense to anyone really. Um, I think I want to clip this down to the word summer. Get my big bad scissors out from Tim Holtz. Um, and snip right across there and cross my fingers that I've done it in a straight line. I'll keep of the because you never know when that might actually be useful in the future for something else. But see, summer just fits nicely in here somewhere. I'm, it's not going on there just yet. Now, uh, the word peony, is there a peony on this page? I don't think there is. Because I want to say that's a dahlia, or a dahlia as my friend would call it. Um, of the, so these, these two don't work. Um, I loved this, we're all wildflowers once. No, we're all flowers wild once. I can't speak today. I don't mind that across there. I want this a bit shorter though. So. Right, and I need to put this on a non gluey page because it will stick and I will never get the sucker off. And I think I may have to delve into my box of fairy cuts. I feel that feels right. Summer is sort of calling me for up here, actually. But then my eye likes to go in that diagonal up that way. Let's, let's put the word on hold a second. Let's find the fairy box. Right, this is the box of fairies that's been fussy cut so far. You can see I haven't got a heck of a lot way through this. Oh, I've got postcards too. Um, well, I don't want any of the framed fairies. I did have things like these. Actually, there's tulips on here. Let's put those up there. Um, I also pulled out some of the poems that are in here. I don't want. I want to save that because I think actually I want to use that for something else. Okay, there's a little bit of floral there. Ooh, there's a little top corner. Right. Fairy flowers of the garden. See, these are the elements I'm actually saving for the flower journal, uh, the fa fairy journal, when I get round to doing it. So, but I do know there's there's some fussy cut elements in here that I liked the look of. Just trying to find them. 
like tiny, tiny little pieces like this would look great on ephemera. I can't find the little pieces I'm looking for. There's another bit of fuchsia. Let's keep that out. I had a feeling there was another corner piece. Right. That's cute, but it's the wrong colours. There's another tulip, but it's the wrong way up. Don't like that one. There's a little bit of forget-me-not. I quite like forget-me-nots. Funnily enough, I've just bought a packet of forget-me-not seeds for our garden because we had them for ages. That's a zinnia, I think. Um, we had them for ages and then one year we just lost the lot. It's like they just didn't come back. But I'm going to put the fairy box down for a second and play with what I've got. So I quite liked this fairy with the tulip. But my gut is that she's facing the wrong way. That's not going to work. Okay. The geranium one, however... That might be quite cute there because it looks like almost like she's looking at that looking at that looking at her let's just sit that one there and let it let it marinate in my little mind for a second or two okay i want to say i know what those flowers are but my brain is shutting down on me um this is another corner piece that matches that i know already quite like that there so let's just get that stuck down because it's a little element and I know I'll put it down and I will I will lose it on this page somewhere and I will never find it again. So and also again it was a fussy cut piece that's got some delicate bits on it so make sure I'm a little bit careful with that. If I put that up there that just nicely frames out that space and gives me a little something there. You're still there. See, part of me thinks that that would look really cute up there, but I also want to put the word summer up there. Actually, if I lay that on there, oh, got a little insect. Insect from the garden. That's a bit appropriate, isn't it? So, probably come in, stop, stop itself drowning out there. Right, so if I put you up there, that's the word summer taken care of. And I'm going to put these in. Periwinkles. I think these might be periwinkles. I do like my garden, but I'm like, oh, that's a blue flower. That's a pink flower. That's a yellow flower. <laughs> that's about as far as my knowledge goes. Now, I'd probably do a little bit better than that. I do think that's a periwinkle, though. Give that a little bit of a smush down and that little bit of a smush down get rid of this loop edge i need to clean my fingers soon too because i'm being really sticky so the question is i wanted something here don't mind that i'm gonna let that sit and marinate for a bit because the blue comes in from there and there i'm liking this little girl and I'm liking the fact that she looks over there. This is a, is a big spot of something missing. You need to go away. Can you just move? Thank you. I don't need you in the video. You've got no, no, no reason to be here. Um, I do quite like her. I just, she couldn't go anywhere else. And I've got a hole in my design there that I need to find something for. I do like that as well, though. Will you go away? I think it's a little fruit fly. I wouldn't mind, but there's no food in this workshop. Actually, that might be. Am I just trying to make this fit, guys? Actually, that works for me. I think that's more of a. I'm going to do that. There you go. Decision made, whether it's the right one, the wrong one, or an incidental one, it's going on there. I think it was about there. I 
Yeah, I think I'm okay with that. Okay, so I still have some issues. I don't like the blankness here. That needs a something. I want to put this in somewhere. That's not right. I keep being pulled back to here because this seems to feel right. And if it feels right, I should do it. Okay, what's the worst that can happen? I've wasted an hour of my life, some glue stick and some fussy cuts. But you know what? Even if it doesn't work out, which it, I think it has worked out already, but even if it hadn't worked out, I would have learned something from doing it. Okay, so really fussy, still need something there. I'd like something there. I could actually put washi tape in, that would be another idea. However, I've got a feeling if I could find something like a little fairy saying something or what's this say? That's a bit big anyway. Let's not pretend to read that one. Geranium fairy. Oh, she is a geranium fairy. Red, red, vermilion red with buds and blooms of in the glorious head. There isn't a flower the wide world through that glows with a brighter scarlet hue. Her name is Geranium, everyone knows. She's just as happy wherever she grows. In an earthen pot or a garden bed, red, red, virilium red. I think I'm gonna put that up there because she is the Geranium Fairy. You know, things drop into your fingers for a reason, right? I am going to just edge this, however, with a bit of vintage photo, just because otherwise it just looks, it looks as if it's not framed. And I'm okay with that looking like that. That's just enough. I've got a clean bit of book page, I do. Let's get that stuck down. See, I believe everything happens for a reason. Um, Let's pull that down so it looks as if it's part of. Right, so I still have this little bit here. This annoys me slightly. And I'm wondering whether I really do want to just pull in something else. So I have I have the fuchsias. And I love them. But they're wrong. Um, I have a zinnia. I'm sure that's a zinnia. There seems to be a lot clumping down there. Right, I think I need to get washi tape. Bear with me a second, guys. Okay, you've seen them before. This is one of my hoops of washi tape. And I'm thinking there's a lot on this page, but there's not a lot of green on this page. Now, I'm tempted to pull this washi down into this, but I think that's wrong also. Um, I've got this really pale green. I think this green may just be too pale. Just, yeah, it would be too pale. I'm just replacing plain with plain, really. I think I need some sort of pattern. They're probably all shouting at me, all going, use this one, use this one. Yeah, why well, can't I hear you guys? Hmm. See, this one does have elements I could pull in. I mean, if I just tear off specific ones, like maybe that one there. And I don't need a lot of things. I just need one or two little filler pieces. Let me just stick that one down and see what it looks like. Um, I always put um, washi tape on my... Sorry, I don't mean washi tape. I always put glue stick on my washi tape purely because I don't trust washi tape for that and move. No, that's the wrong thing to do. Let's take that back off there. Actually, I wonder, should I try and look at the tissue again? Maybe there's the odd little element in here that would... Sorry guys, I've got to wipe my fingers. I'm sticking to absolutely everything. Um, I'm thinking maybe there's some nice edgy type stuff that I could use. 
Um, I'd have to stick it on the glue stick, which is always a little bit, little bit risky with me. But let's have a look. Right. I mean, I'm thinking I could pull the things like that edge off there. Let's just pull that off there just so that I find it in the future. And I'm only saying that because it's geranium red. Um, there was this pink still. And although I liked it, I didn't like the grey on it, did I? Am I trying to overdo this? This is the question. Am I just... Should I stop? That's quite geranium red as well. My gut is telling me I haven't finished. But my gut is also telling me don't overdo it. I've got a contradictory gut happening here. And I don't really know what's the best thing to do. So I think if I put this to one side, right, let's have a look at what we've got. I wonder. If only I could hear you guys, if only I could hear you. Because I really do think some of you out there are going, no, stop now, stop now. Well, you know, I'm probably not going to. No, that's not right. I did have this little, t I don't know why this little piece is just bothering me here, but it is. And I think I might put that down there. Okay, so I like that better than what it was before. The only piece that bothers me now is up here. And if I was actually to put a thin strip of that up there, says he praying that he can actually just tear a thin strip with this. In my mind, it will balance that up to there. Um, let's take that off, I don't need all of that. No, maybe it's not right. Maybe I need to just stop. There's something in this that isn't quite right for me. And I can't work out what it is. Got flowers, I mean... We don't have a single butterfly on here. And if there's any time a butterfly would be appropriate, it would be now. Let's see if I've got small butterflies that I like. I've, obviously, I've got small butterflies I like, but small butterflies I want to use. Let's tip you out, please. You're small enough to be in my hand. Right. The Tim Holtz ones are lovely, but they're a bit... They look a bit specimen butterfly to me. I've always liked that butterfly. Don't mind that butterfly. These two don't work for me. Sorry, you always say you like to hear my thought process. Well, this is my brain chewing the cud, I can tell you. Are those two the same? They are, but I do like the size of that butterfly. I could put a dragonfly in here, but I'm not even sure whether I've got a dragonfly that fits this. I'm not even sure that I've got a dragonfly, to be honest with you. Why is it you always don't have the one you're looking for? Right. I think I should be able to get something out of this little grouping. Right, this seems quite a large butterfly. I'm just going to put it there while I think about the rest. If I was going to put butterflies on here, they would have to be small. And I quite like that grouping. I wonder whether I can... Is this a label or is this just... Come on, off you come. Yes, right. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the back of this, just in case it decides one day it wants to leave us. 
Now I would normally do that. So why don't I normally do that? I do do that. I'm going to do it normally. Right, so that's one butterfly up there. I think I've sort of made the decision that that's too big. Wherever I put this, it's going to draw the eye. So let's just get this on there next, because I think this one is right. And again, a little bit of glue on the back of that. Right, this doesn't feel like the right butterfly, guys. Now, I thought I had more of those in here, and I don't mind repeating a butterfly. Ooh. I think it has to be down there, but I do have to find something for there. Am I driving you nuts at this moment? Because I'm kind of driving me nuts. I do have a sort of thought though. Pop you in there. Right, we're done with the butterflies because I can go overboard on butterflies and that's not what this is about. Right, this here needs a something. And I'm thinking, is it a number? It doesn't feel like numbers. Um, is it a label? There are no labels on here, so I'm thinking, no, it's not a label. Actually, not a label, but maybe... No, another flower would be too much. I'm wondering whether I've got a little word. No, because a word would be too much as well. OK, this is Kerry in major indecision here. So let's pull in... Oh, I need to drop the lot. Um, ephemera folder. I wonder, because I love ferns, whether I can put the fern in there. That's sort of... I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to drop this if I don't put it down. I think... I think because ferns are one of my favourite things, if I find a way in which that... That feels kind of right to me. Let's see if I can get the back off this. Oh, there we go. It's meant to be. It came off first time. So, so let's put you down there. Right. Famous last words. Put the top on the glue stick, Griffiths, and walk away. So I think we're done. Um... This to me is just an explosion of everything I love about summer. The brightness, the colours. I, you can almost smell this one. Do you know, I can imagine this is my garden. I like the way that this lady is celebrating summer and has just wandered into this whole garden. And I love the way that the fairies on here, besides these, are actually quite hidden. I mean, you, you're drawn to that, you're drawn to that. But you don't actually notice these till you look in. I'm loving that. I think that works really well. Absolutely think that works really well. Um, we're going to call that done. I'm not going to fuss with that anymore. I don't think there's anything I need to do. Um, no, I think we're done, guys. So hopefully you enjoyed this. Sorry, a bit of procrastination in the middle. But it's sometimes just the final things. I mean, I wasn't intending putting that in there. But by putting that in there, it may, gave me a reason for that. The whole thing is about summer anyway. Were all flowers wild once? Maybe they were. Yes, they were. And I think the fairies are wild. It is out of the ordinary. I, and, and I like the colour palette. You know me, I'm not overly fond of pink. Although I am teaching myself to use pink more often. So hopefully you love that. Um, hopefully I'll get a better photograph of this for the thumbnail that you'll see. So... 
we'll see. So thank you guys. Um, thank you for joining me. Um, I'm Kerry. Until next time, this is Kerry the Crafter. That's C-E-R-I the Crafter. Take care. Bye-bye now.